Welcome to Grade 5 Science Class. Today, we're going to discuss the effect of the speed and time on distance through a short comic strip. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Teacher Mai. Today's lesson is about the effect of the speed and time on distance. Speed. This is the measure of how fast a moving object. Okay, take a look at the picture. In covering the same distance, the faster it moves, the shorter time it takes. And the slower it moves, the longer time it takes. Again, take a look at the picture. In a given time, the faster it moves, the greater the distance it covers. And the slower it moves, the less the distance it covers. Okay, so to calculate for the speed, here is the formula. Speed is equal to distance over time, or to get the speed, we have to divide the distance with the time. And for the distance, we have here again a formula which is distance is equal to speed multiplied by the time. And for the time, here is the formula we have to divide the distance with the speed. Okay? How do we measure the speed? Yes, John Christian. Ma'am, to measure speed is measured in meter per second or kilometer per hour. Good answer, John Christian. So, for the unit of speed, meter per second or m per s or kilometer per hour which is kilometers last h or the kph okay now let's have some example in calculating the speed number one the biker travels 16 kilometers in four hours so what is his speed so the given is 16 kilometers for the distance and four hours for the time so we have to consider the formula 16 for the distance and four for time so we have to divide the 16 kilometer with the 4 hours. So this will be 16 kilometer divided by 4 hours. So 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. And we have to copy the kilometer which is km for short and h for hours. So, this will be 16 km per hour or 4 kph. Okay, let's try to solve another example. Yes, Michael A. Please go to the board and answer number 2. Number 2. A car travels 120 km in 4 hours. What is the speed of the car? So the given are the 120 kilometer and the 4 hours. So the formula will be speed is equal to distance over time. So 120 divided by 4 is equal to 30 kph. Okay, 
A car travels 120 kilometers in 4 hours. What is the speed of the car? So, the given of the distance is 120 kilometer and the given for the time is 4 hours. So, we have to divide the distance by the time. So, 120 divided by 4 is equal to 30 and for the unit of the speed which is kilometer per hour very good Michael so for the unit of distance m for meter km for kilometer and for the unit of time S for second, H for R. And for the unit speed, meter per second, kilometer per hour.